Good morning. I'm just about to get... Oh, what the... What is that? It looks like a little ladybird. Oh, it's going to fly away. Eey. It's flying around in my room now. I thought I would do a get ready with me. Just a little chit chat, an update, catch up with you guys. These sliders I've had for so long and they're really coming in handy. So the past couple of weeks have been pretty busy with so much going on, even though we are in lockdown. I am currently training for something and I'm very excited to share it with you guys very soon. Thank goodness it's not like really cold outside now, even though it's always grey in the UK which can sometimes be so depressing, but then if you're stuck indoors, you don't really feel annoyed about it because you don't really want to go outside anyway. So for the primer, I just used this ne Nix, I can never ever say their name, ne Nix, I'm just gonna say Nix, Honey Drew Me Up Primer, and I love this, this is so nice. It just really absorbs into the skin and very lightweight. And before this, I put on a bit of my facial product routine and a bit of moisturizer because I do actually have really dry skin. So funny, every time I do my makeup, I always think, why am I doing my makeup when I'm stuck in lockdown? It's not as if I'm actually going to go anywhere. <laughs> but then again, it's nice to get out of your trackies. <laughs> Who else has been living in trackies at the moment? And just putting on a bit of makeup and feeling a bit better. This is the NARS Natural Radiance Longwear Foundation. And this has been my favorite foundation ever. I actually used the Charlotte Tilbury one before this and I just found that it had a bit of a red tinge to it. I just didn't really like that. I didn't really feel like I had a reddy pinky kind of skin tone either, but I just found that personally. So I decided to change and I heard that NARS was very good. So that is what I went for. This is the color Strong Bowly and I normally put it on when I've got a bit of color on my skin and I don't know if that's too dark. I think we'll just go with it. I'm actually really happy with my skin at the moment. I haven't been wearing face masks like every day or going on the train. Just like the pollution and just the sweat of the mask. Do you ever find that your face literally just sweats in this mask? It's also really horrible wearing glasses with this mask on. It literally steams up the whole time and you can't see anything. But I can't see us getting rid of them anytime soon. So I think we just gotta learn to live with it a bit. For this foundation, I really love how long it stays on. I never feel like I have to top it up again. I'm just casually eating a bit of cheese and apple down here. I'm having my little snack. I worked out this morning, went for my run. I've been doing so many wrongs lately and it's a love-hate feeling. I really don't enjoy running at all. If I could avoid it for the rest of my life, I really would. And then after my run this morning, I had a nice lower body workout. Had a bit of sourdough on toast for my post workout. Now I'm having a bit of apple and cheese and fizzy water. I am currently on a diet. I have been for a few weeks now and it's going really well so far. So I think I'll be carrying it on for a few more weeks because with borders hopefully opening up, nothing is put in place at the moment. Hopefully we can go on holiday and just get out of the country for a bit. I'm sure everybody is feeling exactly the same. Just want to get away and just lay on the beach for a good few weeks. <laughs> oh, I need to go and get some makeup wipes. Always gets all over my hand. I really need to clean my makeup products. It's always the last thing on my list. I always go, I do it today. No, I do it tomorrow. No, I do it the next day. It just never gets done. I'm using the L'Oreal Inflammable Morning Concealer. I have two colors, so I always need to make sure I'm using the right one. One is in Walnut. It's definitely an orange color. I wanted to get an orange one just to go on under my eyes when I really feel like they're purple and they need a bit of counselling out as they say. So this is the one in Biscuit and then I've also got one. I always need to rummage through all of my makeup bags to find the right thing. I never can. This is the NARS, also one of my favourite products. It just goes on so nicely and just very creamy as it says, creamy concealer for sure. This brush is so much thicker 
and in a way it is easier for the large areas but I think for my under eye it puts on a bit too much product but I hope everyone is doing okay and if you are still at home how is your home workouts going for me it has been a big adjustment but because I've been doing it for such a long time I just feel like it's normal now and just thinking about going back to the gym actually makes me a bit nervous and I never thought I would ever say that because I don't even know why it would make me feel a bit nervous I think it's because we haven't been to the gym in such a long time and so it's just quite an intimidating feeling just being a back around lots of people and in a quite a sweaty environment so yeah very mixed feelings about that but I am excited it's just about getting back into that routine again of going to the gym but I wonder how many people who went to the gym before have actually decided to stay at home workouts I'm very interested to know so if you guys are one of those people let me know because I've had so many different emotions some people are really enjoying it some people are just dying to go back to the gym I do definitely feel like for me personally that this lockdown which is the UK's third lockdown I believe has been the hardest I don't even know how many weeks we've been in lockdown now just the weeks blur all into one and the days, oh my gosh, the days feel like the movie which just repeats itself over and over again. It's just such a weird feeling waking up and knowing that you're going to be doing very much the same. Also, very mixed feelings about the lockdown. I feel like the lockdown has brought so many opportunities to people who wouldn't have had this time if it wasn't for lockdown. And so they've started businesses or started working on actually what they want out of life. Just so many different kind of things have been brought from this lockdown but also again so many horrific things too like even thinking about this time over a year ago now that people were in a club or we were all sat close together in a bar that just kind of freaks me out now like just looking back at all those things that we did are just crazy because now you think about doing those things like going to a club it's quite a weird feeling hopefully things will be going back to normal very soon so for powders the setting powder this is the Vici derma blend setting powder and I'm using the real techniques I don't have the name on here oh yes I do setting brush and this I use all the time for my setting my products it just really like fits nicely under the eyes see guys I'm obsessed with cheese like I literally eat it like this for my snack but it's so good so next up the Anastasia dip brow it did take a bit of time to know how much product to put on the brush because it does come out a lot darker than the normal brow is because it is like this compact little pot so I have been using this for a few weeks now and I've been loving it but it definitely does give you a more of a filled 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 look which is good but sometimes I can be very heavy-handed and just slap it on and then it just looks ridiculous like two slugs are on my face I have no idea what brush this is I've had it for years I think I just brought it off of a makeup site or something but it's one of those angled brushes okay so this is the difference between brows so eyebrows are done I've never been that great at eyebrows but that will do so now I'm going to use this same real techniques branded fluffy brush I believe this is a blush brush but I've had it for so long that all of the labeling has come off oh my gosh if you guys can see this gray sky right now it was raining all day yesterday all the day before and it looks like it's gonna rain again oh my gosh I really do not like British weather so bronze me up I'm also using the Anas, no it's not Anastasia, it's Charlotte Tilbury angled brush. I use it for so many different things. It's an amazing brush for pretty much everything. I remember when I was like first getting into makeup a few years ago, when I used to put the bronzer on my cheeks to do a bit of contour, I used to blend it so much. My foundation used to move and I used to have like these blotches all over my face. Also using the same Hula. I'm going to use it to contour my nose and I put a bit on my forehead because I have a rather large forehead I like to make myself look like I've been on holiday so a nice bronzed face and forehead so after that I take setting powder and I like to put a little bit into the lid okay that was too much and then just set the face 
do what guys i'm literally sitting on a cream it's not even cream it's pretty much white carpet doing my makeup is so dangerous i'm gonna get my big morphe palette i love this morphe palette it has all of my beautiful orange shades in it and i always use this one for my go-to it's like this burnt deep orange color also got this magnifying glass this is how i do my brows and like my eyeshadows it's really useful so using the same colour, I'm going to get this angled kind of pencil brush. I feel like a right pro when I do that. <laughs> I use the same colour, but also just a little bit of the dark brown to go underneath my eyes. Okay, so with that being done, I'm actually going to take the same dark brown that I used for a bit under my eyes and get, if I can find it... Just another small pencil brush and just put it above my eyes, a bit like a liner. Actually, I'm going to get a little cotton pad, it just makes it a bit easier. I really like the cat eye kind of look, but I am no good with eyeliners, just can't do them. So this is the alternative that I use. Huda Beauty for my highlighter. Look at these colours though. These two I have been using, but I'm very excited to use this palette on holiday. I think it would be so pretty on like body glow kind of looks. So getting a very similar but shorter pencil brush, I go into the Santorini. I just said that because I'm so excited because Frank and I booked to go Santorini and I'm not going to get too excited because of restrictions, but I'm praying we have such a good Greek island trip coming and it will literally be the best trip if we can actually go on it. So I'll just put it down my nose and a little bit on my lip too. I don't like using any highlighters on my cheekbones because my blusher is shiny and shimmery so I just don't want to double shine because then I'll just look like a grease ball. This is the MAC Fairly Precious Extra Dimension Blush. Had to read that really slowly because it's a bit rubbing out and it's really pretty peachy colour. So this is the colour that I use rather than a pink. I'm getting a little blush and contour brush. Now you guys will probably be able to see very soon that it's super shiny. So then I'm going to set my face with the NYX, NYX, I'm gonna give up saying this word soon. Long lasting, it's actually a really good setting spray. It smells like shite, but I should have finished my conversation before, but it actually keeps my foundation and just my whole makeup in place, which is so amazing. I'm going to use, do my mascara. I'm going to try my best not to get it everywhere. This is the L'Oreal Voluminous Extra Black. There are so many amazing mascaras out there that I haven't actually found a favourite yet. And I like to try and really get into the corner so I get a more of an angled eye look. Gosh, guys, I remember at school when I was doing my mascara, I used to coat. When I say coat, I say coat. My whole eyelashes so thick top and bottom they were literally sticking together it was just horrific but to be honest i think we all have stories or a lot of us have stories about the time when we were younger and we just went through really weird phases oh and neon stripy socks that was a cool thing apparently and before i forget i'm actually going to get that same huda beauty i really wanted a shimmery eyeshadow kind of look so i'm just going to put it was such a bad idea putting mascara on first but i like putting a little bit in the middle just to make it a little bit more shiny and i think it's quite a subtle color too so i think we are almost done for lips mm, what color to go for i think i'm just going to go for a pink color definitely in need of a new lip liner this is the Subcultured Lip Liner by MAC and it's definitely my go-to. The only thing is with this lip liner, I don't feel like it comes out as well as the other lip liners that I have by MAC and I don't know why, but I feel like I have to press a little bit harder for it to come out better. Okay, that will have to do. Do you guys ever put something down and just can't find it? Here we go. This is the Honey Love Pink Lipstick by MAC. Also part of my go-to. It's like putting a, like a, a light coat on. So there we go guys. A bit of a bronzy pinky kind of look. And now what to do with my hair. It's just so long I 
gotten to that point where I don't even know what to do with it anymore. I haven't had a haircut in about, I'd say like eight months. It's just ridiculously long. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys soon.